Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. How are you doing today? Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> I was waiting for the session. Am I audible to you, sir? Clearly. I can hear you clearly. I can see you as well. And uh, okay, I believe this is our first session, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And you have a YouTube channel as well where you teach English. So, uh, yes. what kind of contents do you produce? Do you teach over there or you upload conversational videos? Yeah, conversational videos nowadays. Mm. Okay. And you sound like a very confident speaker, which is a good thing about it. Yeah. And uh, okay. How long have you been learning English? It's been a long journey, sir. Um, uh, I can say two to three years. But being a homemaker, I need to prioritize lot of things. Uh, so yes, uh, whatever efforts I am putting, I am not uh, satisfied. But it's a lifetime learning, I guess. Mm, okay. So uh, do you feel that you have changed? Uh, over the period of two years, let's say, on what aspects have you improved drastically, or what are some areas that you still need to work upon? What do you think are some of your strengths and weaknesses in terms of English? Yes, definitely, I have improved a lot, uh, and the uh, the area which I need to work on, like grammar. Mm. Are you comfortable talking about your daily routine then? <laughs> Daily routine, yes. Um, okay, if you uh, want to know about my daily routine, then uh, it would be nice. Uh, I generally wake up at six o'clock, and when my daughter's school is there, then I have to prepare tiffin first. After that, I go for a walk or do some exercise. And uh, after twenty minutes, thirty minutes, I do. And again, I went. I go to kitchen and prepare big breakfast and a lunch uh, for my family. And after that, I do my uh, chores like cleaning home or and uh, take a bath, do worship. And after that, I uh, uh, in whole afternoon I spend my time to uh, whether creating video, improving my English, and have conversation. So in this way, I spend my time <laughs> just like a, a normal homemaker. But because of privilege of uh, having internet, uh, we can improve ourselves uh, staying at home. Mm. That's correct. Okay. And what's your what's the favorite part of your day? When do you enjoy the most? What time? Yeah, having conversation with uh, people like you. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> okay, all right, and you get to learn a lot about your English as well in the process. Or that may be kind of an accomplishment that you feel. Hmm. And one okay. more thing, I also like to learn uh, to uh, read um, books of uh, successful successful people and watch videos of them. So hmm. I love to watch videos. Okay. You look like a very cheerful person. Are you always happy and with a very cheerful demeanor every time? Uh -huh. No, I, it's, not like, it's not like I'm just like a normal human being. And I also have um, uh, both emotions, uh, sir. Um, <laughs> uh, happiness, sorrow, uh, stress, uh, anxiety. Every uh, Everything happens with every person, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, what do you do for fun? Except from fun. talking with other people, uh, learning English. What what else? Like you do you like doing? I love to yeah. I love to play badminton. So nowadays I am playing badminton with my daughter in the evening time. Okay, okay. So do you have a proper space where you can play badminton? You need to maybe outdoors, right? I think. Yes, yes, okay. yes. I have enough space uh, outdoor. <laughs> yeah. Some people like to play badminton in a court indoors. Right? Yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, I used to play badminton because there is an academy over here and we used to go and it's uh, we, we used to participate in some kind of tournaments as well, competitions. Oh. But now I, I don't play now. Earlier, when I was kind of when I was in my college, when I was young, I used to do that. 
Okay. But, uh, so you I'm are saying, good at badminton. <laughs> not very good. I, I would say an amateur, an amateur player. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. And the topic for today is exercise, right? Do you think this topic is interesting for you to discuss? Yes, sir. Oh, we can go okay. ahead because yeah. see, uh, without your health, uh, no one can achieve success or whatever they want to do. Health is the base of any um, uh, human being, I can say. First, mm. your health is very, very essential, and exercise is a part of uh, your health. Yeah, yeah. You told me that every day you go to the park and do some exercise, right? Uh, what is included in your workout routine? Do you go to the? I, yeah. Yes, yes, I do yeah. mix type of things uh, so that it uh, it can not become bored. Like, then it sometimes it becomes like boring thing. So I m include a lot of uh, interesting thing. Uh, one day I go for walk. One day I play badminton. Uh, next day I do yoga. Recently I uh, follow a channel and dance with Divti. So uh, she uh, created a video of exercise with music. So it's uh, so fascinating to work out uh, along with music <laughs> and uh, staying at home. So the uh, internet has uh, given us a lot of privilege. Whatever you want to do, at sitting at home, you can learn English, you can exercise, you can learn. So you can do a lot of things. Cooking, you can learn cooking. <laughs> so yes. In this, in this way, I do exercise. Have you ever been to the gym? No, ever? no, no. <laughs> no, I uh, haven't. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's important for everybody to go to the gym, or they can also do their home workouts and maybe become fit? What do you think? It depends on uh, person's uh, um, uh, priority. If you, mm -hmm. uh, you uh, if you have a profession like a bodybuilder or a sports player, then uh, definitely you have to join gym uh, to make your uh, body fit because this is your first priority because you are a player. So, but for a normal human being, I don't think that that it's a very important to join a gym. You can do a simple exercise and make uh, make yourself fit and fine. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what do you suggest to somebody who, who, who doesn't have time at all to exercise? Who's very busy going to office, coming back home, resting, relaxing, and he or she doesn't have any time to work out. What do you suggest to them? Yes, sir. One quote is: "Where there is a will, there is a way." So, and if you know importance of uh, exercising, uh, because uh, uh, it will keep your body make energ uh, energetic and make your life easier. If you mm -hmm. do exercise, you will become a, um, more productive as compared to um, normal routine. So, um, whatever you, if even though you are so busy, at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, you can do morning, evening, noon whatever time is suits for you you must um, uh, have a time for your for your body because see uh, whatever we are doing like we are uh, sometimes we become like a machine but uh, a machine also need repair so exercise is just like repairing and working on yourself all day you are working from your body but uh, uh, where, where is the time when you work on your body so it's a very important to make yourself uh, healthy or uh, keep going on. We must give some time for your body. But don't you feel that after uh, coming home, tired from the job, isn't it again exhausting to go to the gym or even exercising because that's another torture to your body, right? Don't you feel that? Yes, sir. Yes. Even uh, not only for gym, anything which you want to uh, change your habit. It, it is very difficult to change your habit, but when you make it interesting, then uh, one day you do just uh, five minutes, do, uh, do with music and uh, go with uh, in society, do with the friends or then it, if you make it the process interesting, then it will uh, much easier for you. 
and uh, if you start your habit uh, with very small steps take small steps every day then mm -hmm. one day you will achieve uh, whatever you want to do okay. okay what if somebody doesn't like exercising at all they don't like working out at all they don't like lifting weights they don't like the a feeling of being drained and uh, out of energy what what for them like walking is very good uh, you uh, you can talk uh, and uh, talk on call with your friend and go for walk and if you want to purchase anything like in shop go by not by vehicle go by your uh, foot and you uh, it's also a type of exercise so yeah. as i said where there is a will there is a way what happen when we uh, when we get uh, ill then we come to know importance of exercise so mm. if the person is not willing to do anything you have to face uh, repercussions of that thing if you oh. are lazy not doing anything then one day you must have to face its uh, um, result so and if you key, uh, if you do exercise uh, even though it's in a small amount then you will get result in both the uh, things uh, result will be there so uh, uh, that's the, the reason when people uh, get ill and it's a very uncurable then they go to visit doctor then doctor mm. advise now there is no way now you have to do exercise anyway mm. yeah so it's something that you can't uh, <laughs> do away with isn't it okay okay all right uh, well what uh, what role does a diet play in someone's body, in a person's body? Diet. It just exercises yes. enough or diet eating habits also matter? Yes, yes. And diet is very uh, essential. So I, uh, I also know, but when it comes to implementing, uh, to make a routine and to have uh, simple and not take fast food, but I also like sometimes fast food and uh, eat something. But it's okay. Overall, we have to have and uh, take care of um, balance is uh, also very important. Uh, people know about everything. Everything knowledge is available, but when it comes to implementing, we fail. So we need to implement uh, good habits. The food which you uh, um, take, it impacts not only your body; it impacts uh, overall um, in your personality. Mm -hmm. Do you have any guilty pleasures? when it comes to food pardon please sir i couldn't get you uh, do you have any guilty pleasures when it comes to food guilty pleasure yeah i like sweets very much uh, so i have a lot of fear to uh, have uh, sugar but uh, <laughs> even though i can't control sometimes to eat <laughs> rasagulla in bengal <laughs> so, uh -huh. yes I, uh, after eating that food i regret that why should yeah. you have eaten so much like four or five rasagulla you have oh, taken oh my god <laughs> it's too much <laughs> okay even i have a sweet tooth i can't resist uh, sweets uh, my favorite is rush malai Okay. Yeah, that's my favorite. I can't resist with just, uh, I need to have at least two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So tell me something about you, sir. I want to know about you. What would you like to know about me? Uh, about my, yeah, oh, I, I, I never so give you my introduction. Did, I, give you my, yeah. did yeah. I introduce myself, by the way? Yes, yes. Please introduce oh. yourself. I don't know about you. Okay, so sorry. Because I just got carried away because you, Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. So to tell you something about myself, I'm from Darjeeling. I'm also from West Bengal. And uh, oh. I have been working as an English trainer for three years now. And currently I'm associated with English Shari. I, I think you are speaking really well. Okay, the way you, you the energy that you bring over here and uh, with in, in a very vibrant and cheerful manner you are expressing yourself so that's very magnetic i really feel that i'm sure that you get this a lot from other tutors as well and other people you interact with do you mm. yes yes okay. <laughs> thank you sir thank you I, I just feel that we have to slow down a little slow down yes. a little okay because i know that you have a lot to share but sometimes when our brain and our mouth is not in sync what happens we end up using a lot of filler sounds uh, uh, uh this thinking sound okay so yes, yes. you can take pauses in between 
You say one sentence, take a pause, two, three seconds. One second is also enough. And after that, you have something and then you share. Speak in phrases. You don't have to finish one sentence in one go. Okay. And it's not important for you to respond right away. If I ask you one question, you don't have to respond immediately. Take some time. Let your let let yourself process the thoughts and the idea that you want to share properly. And after that, in a very calm and easy manner, you can express yourself. Right? Mm. Definitely, sir. I'm implementing. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, uh, we should try our best to uh, uh, whatever uh, things we need to improve ourselves. So we need, uh -huh. and it's not, not like one day process. Uh, it becomes my yeah. habit. So it will take yeah. time to um, rectify. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Mm. Do you have any questions for me? Any questions related to the language as well? Yes, um, not language, uh, as our topic is exercise. So um, what is your opinion about exercise? Well, I I think we I, we both are on the same page. I also believe in exercising. Although I don't go to the gym, these uh, I'm not getting time to go to the gym, but I definitely make sure I go for a walk every evening. I don't get time in the morning, but uh, going for a walk is sometimes that I like to, uh, I like to do. I like to put in some hours, at least, uh, 5,000 to 10,000 steps. Earlier, I used to work out. When I was in college, I used to work out every day. But after that, after once you, once you start working, you don't have that time or that energy as well. <laughs> so that's why I was asking you, if somebody who doesn't like to go to the gym, what they should be doing. And you said that uh, walking is very important. Right? <laughs> Yes, yes. One correction. What about English? Yes. Please, please ask what you want oh, no. to ask. Just one area. So you said one sentence. If you want to go shopping, then go on foot or go by foot? Which one is correct? Go by foot. Buy, buy is, I uh, think, it's go on correct. Foot. It's go on foot. Go on foot. Yeah. Go on foot. Okay. Yeah. On go foot. on foot or go by walk. Buy with walk. Go by walk. Go by walk or go on foot. Okay. Go on foot. Yeah. Most so, people say go by yeah, walking. That is also correct. Guy by walking. Okay. That is also correct. Yeah. Yeah. You're asking okay. me about English? Yeah. People say that uh, if you want to improve your English, uh, reading book is very important. So what is your opinion, sir? Definitely it is. I say that if some, if anybody who wants to advance themselves in their english speaking journey and they are not reading then that, that means they are missing out on a lot of things because just by inculcating this habit of reading in your routine then you are gaining a lot for example vocabulary because you come, come across a lot of words new words advanced expressions grammatical structures right so you are just understanding you are building your comprehension skills right First is that. Second, you have to read out loud as well. There has to be a combination of both. Sometimes you read in your mind, you just read for pleasure. But on certain occasions, it's important we read out loud as well. Maybe for at least five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day, we have to read out loud so that we improve our pronunciation. And once you are clear and comfortable reading out loud, you are also listening to yourself, isn't it? So you are being comfortable with your own sound how you speak right yeah mm -hmm. it plays a vital role in terms of in terms of reading and listening i always prioritize it is never always about speaking speaking is important but if you just focus on speaking then it will take you two or three years to get better although you are comfortable but if you are not acquiring any information or if you are not if you don't have enough input then speaking mm -hmm. speaking will only take you so far it's about input and output all the four uh, skills need to be mastered, I feel. Yeah, what do you think, sir? Uh, should I learn uh, grammar rules uh, uh, apart from reading? So how I implement grammar rules or preposition uh, like uh, um, as I ma make mistakes while speaking? Yeah. So. Well, the thing is that you have to identify where exactly you are going wrong. Is it tenses? Is it articles? Is it preposition? Once you have the basic foundation, a solid concept on where you're exactly going wrong, then you have to observe other people a lot, either through reading, because uh, whatever people write is also their own thoughts, right? Whatever that they have written, it's written correctly. You observe carefully, okay? It's like uh, you don't have to read for long. 
just pick one paragraph and really understand in what tense is it written in what tense in what mood it's 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 written over there and try to understand oh okay right and even with even with you even when you are listening to other people try to really observe how they are speaking what kind of phrases are they are, you, are they using on what tense are they speaking how are they speaking what are the prepositions that they are using okay so that way can this is one way to learn grammar however i'm not of the opinion that people should cram rules and understand every time because it, it, it things get very messed up very complicated right i i believe in uh, observing other people and that way we can acquire a lot just like we learned hindi uh, do you get by bengali can you understand bengali ami jani ami jani bolte pari ami khub fluent nai kintu ami bolte pari i can communicate in bengali how how did you learn bengali because of the environment every day i have to speak with uh, shopkeeper helper uh, surroundings neighbor so mm -hmm. all don't know hindi so uh, by force i need to communicate in bengali so i learn do you focus on grammar no bengali grammar no right yes no 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 hindi. okay the grammar only becomes important when we want to really polish our language and at that time we have to speak in an elegant and sophisticated way that time it becomes important and that is also not very uh, what you call not, not very difficult once you know the basics it should fall into place okay and through reading i think uh, you just have to pick simple simple concepts okay uh, don't go on reading novels and newspapers because over there things are very difficult for us to comprehend and it depends on the level as yes. well once you are at that advanced level yeah you can go for such type of books and newspapers but for now i think it's better to read simple books just to understand simple things highly effective yeah absolutely correct sir. when choosing a content many people are not aware of so if it's going on youtube then i would like to communicate to other learners as well through your video even you can follow it okay when choosing content because many people are confused of what to read what to watch what to listen to right there has to be three characteristics in your content if you want to have this comprehensive input or if you want to learn the language and acquire the language and carry on with that and manifest into speaking first it has to be interesting if it is not interesting then that is not an appropriate resource for you it has to be anything but boring like newspapers if you don't enjoy it, then newspapers are not the right resource for you okay for me self help books are interesting i find it interesting but for some other people they find it completely boring so it depends on the individual as well it's very subjective find something interesting and it has to be short it doesn't have to be very long if you're watching a video it has to be short form content because movies you can't watch every day can you you can't watch movies mm -hmm. every day right no so pick anything that is short in length for example maximum 5 to 10 minutes maximum 15 and uh, most people skip over here is that they don't repeat people have to repeat the same content yes yes repetition is very important yeah. yes yes yeah. when you repeat it two or three times automatically you'll acquire some phrases vocabulary grammatical structure you acquire that you don't even have to learn and mug up those words if you find it interesting you can jot it down and third it has to be a bit challenging okay it should not be very easy if it is very easy then you're not learning anything you're just practicing mm -hmm. but if you want to learn it has to be a bit challenging at least 60 percent of the content you should understand and 30 40 percent should be a bit challenging and you have to try to understand okay what does it mean how is it being said uh, what is the meaning of this particular expression phrases so that way we develop our comprehension comprehension skill it's very important if you can understand then you can speak if you cannot understand then you can never speak right Mm, so, yes, yes. yeah, these things are very important, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope that you will be following the steps while choosing how to what to read and what to watch. Right? Yes, sir, definitely. And it's a, I think it's a, we need to have patience because it's not a, like one day game. We need to have patience, and uh, we need to implement uh, slowly, slowly. Then, yes, sir, definitely. So, thank you for That's sharing. For sure. <laughs> okay and i think we are also on a little bit on top of the time so we'll keep it till here and maybe i can see you in the next session all right thank you yes, so much it was lovely meeting you and uh, 
I'll keep it till here. I wish you all the best and have a good day. Bye.